Okay, another thing is cherry pick. What you'll see is from here to here, without the red stuff, that's the stuff we most popular see to show a correlation between atmospheric CO2, the blue is Arctic humid. I'm sorry, it's not CO2. This is Arctic air temperature, okay, measured by satellite, and they try to correlate this blue with how much gas and oil we use. See that wonderful correlation? Whoop, whoop, matches perfectly. But if you back away and show the whole work back to 1800, here's what atmospheric measurements are in the Arctic. That's as long as we have actually measured temperatures in the Arctic. And, you know, I would say as a flight test engineer that the sun has four sets of sun effects. They probably match and correlate better with Arctic air temperature than does driving SUVs. By the way, somebody the other day did looking for correlations. They showed atmospheric CO2 correlates perfectly with the price of a one-ounce stamp in the United States. <laughs> that correlation was perfect. Whoa. If you've got good correlation, you've got to believe it. If, you know, you've got to quit if the glove don't fit, right? I mean, it's, it's just perfect. <laughs> Fun. Okay, I'm going to show you a chart right now that has no deception on it, no intended deception. This is an honest presentation of data. Right here is 30 years of atmospheric, lower troposphere measured by satellite, the most accurate data that we have because it measures everything. You know, putting thermometers around is not a very good way of measuring it, particularly when they build factories and parking lots next to them and then don't move them. But, you know, that. Okay, 30 years. Right here. There is only one data source here. There's a relatively accurate way of measuring it. And this is an honest presentation of what's been going on. And it shows the cooling that we've had since 2000. Okay, this chart down here does have data source mixing. See this darker stuff right here that mixes with that? That's a different source. Okay? If I went in and showed only this data right here to here, in other words, the last uh, uh, 250 years. If I show the last 250 years of this, I would prove that we have two data sources, they're both going up, and boom! Oh, the planet is going to disappear! It's terrible! Oh, oh give us money, we'll fix it! <laughs> Can you conclude that? But if you take all of the data, Back to 400 years before the pyramids, or whatever. By the way, here's Rome. Here's the uh, guys, whatever. I know the little ice ages here. Uh, here you have medieval war, whatever. I'm not sure what all these are. But anyway, here is mixing data, but it shows you something that doesn't look scary, and you will not see this chart in the UN report. You won't see it on the evening news. Okay, here's something that's a real popular presentation that folks like to use. Uh, excuse me, that, that activists like to use. Uh, this is ice core data, measured ice core data. It tells you, you know, by the way, this is 100,000 years before, 200,000, 300. We'll, we'll talk about this later. But see these zigzags up here? This is the most stable warm period in the last 400,000 years, based on ice core data. Instead of having these sharp peaks, We've got these zigzags for 12,000 years. Okay? Now, I want you to focus on one of these little guys here. There's a bunch of them. 12,000 years, you've got all these little... Oh! What is that? Climate change. Isn't it? Climate change hot, climate change cold. Climate change hot, climate change cold. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Right there is climate change, guys. Got it? <laughs> okay? Now, let's focus here back to 1500 years, which by the way is conveniently selected because it's just after the medieval warming. And they present highly filtered and incorrect data, and then they add on top of it some new data. I think this is tree brain data. Okay? 
and they say, my God, look at this data great, and oh, Al Gore, get on your elevator. Look at this. <laughs> but you know what all of this is? You know what all of this data is that we're scared by? You know what it is? It's one an inch tweak from there to there. And it's been doing that for 12,000 years. Duh. Yeah. 